Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online class, biology session, nutrition our food. So far we have discussed about what is nutrition, what are the types of nutrition, then about the nutrients, macronutrients like carbohydrates, proteins and fats and uh, micronutrients about vitamins minerals we have discussed in the last video about vitamins and minerals we have discussed in the last video so in this video we are going to discuss about the most important thing that is what is balanced diet and uh, how to maintain balanced diet and about our uh, tooth and the structure of tooth okay are you ready children let us proceed balanced diet a mixed diet containing all the essential requirements in their right quantities is necessary for body's proper growth such a diet is known as the balanced diet okay a complete food it is called a balanced diet in a balanced diet energy giving foods like bodybuilding foods and protective foods are present in correct proportions means all the types of foods such as energy giving foods bodybuilding foods and protective foods are present in required proportions or proper correct proportion is called a balanced diet a balanced diet thus provides the body with all the essential nutrients all the materials necessary for proper growth and repair of body and also the energy required by the body to carry out its life activities so it will fulfill the three important functions what are they all the essential nutrients is fulfilled and all the materials necessary for proper growth and repair of the body and energy required by the body to carry out its life activities all these three functions are fulfilled by balanced diet okay a balanced diet there are different types of balanced diet will be there okay sometimes uh, we eat only carbohydrates sometimes we eat only proteins sometimes we eat only minerals so that is not a balanced diet a balanced diet must and should include all the three types of foods energy giving foods body building foods and protective foods we neglect the protective foods okay that is uh, vegetables and fruits so it should not be done next the food we normally eat in a day is our diet our growth and maintenance of good health our diet should have all the nutrients that our body needs in right quantities not too much of one and not too little of the other the diet should also contain a good amounts of roughage roughage means dietary fiber and water such a diet is called a balanced diet a diet not only contain good amounts not only contain all the nutrients it should also include roughage and water then only it is called a balanced diet eating the right kind of food is not enough it should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost so sometimes okay we include all the types of nutrients and we think that we are eating balanced diet but how we are preparing that food at the time of cooking 
if you cook at a very high temperature some of the nutrients may be lost due to overcooking or due to less cooking so it must be a method should be followed what type of food material need what type of cooking strategy that you will have to that you have to follow otherwise it will lead to loss of nutrients if the vegetables and fruits are washed after cutting or peeling them it may result in the loss of some vitamins okay sometimes uh, what do you call uh, wrong methods of preparation of food materials wrong method of preparing curries before curry preparation sometimes we peel out after peel out again washing means uh, it may lead to loss of vitamins okay before peeling it out only you have to wash thoroughly then we have to peel out and you cut it into pieces and prepare at low temperature burning okay so high temperature cooking it may char the food material carbon is formed so that is uh, dangerous and even it is cancerous carcinogenic agents will be formed if it is cooked for long time okay so cooking strategies must be followed while cooking the balanced diet we all know that the skins of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals similarly repeated washing of rice and pulses may remove some vitamins at cooking improves the taste of the food and makes it easier to digest at the same time cooking also results in the loss of certain nutrients so you have to keep that in mind many useful proteins are proteins and considerable amount of minerals are lost if excess water is used during cooking and is then thrown out sometimes at the time of cooking rice uh, the boiling rice we throw out the water to make the rice uh, uh, somewhat uh, individual grains okay so at the time of cooking if you throw out the if you throw that water what we call starch it may lead to the loss of vitamins okay so the food materials must be cooked in a proper manner deficiency diseases this deficiency diseases may be due to the lack of knowledge regarding the nutrients or following uh, wrong strategies of cooking okay the deficiency what is the deficiency deficiency of one or more nutrients can cause diseases or disorders in our body it is called malnutrition the diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases or malnutrition diseases if a person does not get enough proteins in his or in her food for a long time he or she is uh, likely to have stunted growth growth reduces the swelling of face discoloration of hair skin diseases and uh, often suffers with uh, diarrhea vomiting and uh, motions the deficiency of different vitamins and minerals may also result in certain diseases or disorders all deficiency diseases can be prevented by taking a balanced diet or compensating the lost vitamin or nutrient 
with a uh, replacement of those uh, deficient uh, vitamins and minerals will help to recover or overcome the problem okay deficiency disease here one chart is given so let us discuss vitamin a deficiency disorder loss of vision it is called uh, night blindness the poor vision symptoms poor vision loss of vision in darkness night blindness sometimes complete loss of vision it is called uh, xeropthalmia due to malfunctioning of lacrimal glands in the eye in the eye tears are secreted when the tears are not secreted then it will lead to complete loss of vision that is called xeropthalmia so vitamin b1 next vitamin b1 deficiency causes a disease called beriberi disease the symptoms are weak muscles and very little energy to work means anemia is also one of the symptom weakness vitamin c ascorbic acid its deficiency causes a disease curvy the symptoms are bleeding gums wounds take long time to heal wound healing capacity will be reduced in the people who take less vitamin c vitamin d deficiency causes rickets bones become soft and bent bow like bones it is also called knock knees okay the people when they stand the two knees will touch each other okay next calcium calcium deficiency leads to decay of bones and teeth bones become brittle teeth also foul smell from the teeth and uh, the symptoms are weak bones tooth decay these are the symptoms of deficiency of calcium iodine iodine deficiency causes this is called thyroid what do you call uh, goiter disease enlargement of thyroid gland the glands in the neck thyroid gland appear swollen mental disability in children also one of the symptom of goiter iron iron deficiency causes anemia nothing but weakness when they get tired for simple works so in order to overcome these deficiency diseases the food materials rich in vitamins and minerals protective food must be included in everyday diet the fresh green leafy vegetables carrots beetroots papaya fruit fruit juices and fresh fruits seasonal fruits must be included in the diet so vitamin a deficiency night blindness vitamin b1 deficiency beriberi vitamin c deficiency scurvy vitamin d deficiency rickets calcium deficiency bone and tooth decay iodine deficiency goiter iron deficiency anemia these are some of the deficiency diseases so let us see the structure of uh, human teeth singular tooth the structure of tooth a tooth consists of uh, three main parts that is a um, okay tooth consists of enamel dentin cementum and pulp tissue the portion of the tooth which is exposed to the oral cavity is known as crown or dental crown it is called a dental crown and the portion below the dental crown it is known as root tooth root okay these are the two main parts which is exposed part that is called crown and the part which is embedded in the gum of the tooth it is called as a tooth root 
the four main types of teeth present in human beings are incisors canines premolars molars okay incisors canines premolars and molars these are arranged systematically in the human jaws the jaws of the tooth upper jaw and lower jaw include all the four types of tooth what are they incisor canine premolars molars so if you take the structure of two two main parts i said what are they root and crown crown is the exposed part which we can see when you see observe the tooth in the mirror you will see this uh, crown the crown consists of enamel dentin and uh, the dentin is the material by which uh, the tooth is made up of enamel is the outer coat shiny cloth shiny coating which uh, it's a protective coat cementum is a material with which uh, the tooth is internally made up of pulp is the cavity which is present uh, in the root so this pulp consisting of uh, nerves and blood vessels or blood capillaries okay, let us see more about this tooth the four main types of teeth are incisors canines premolars molars okay so incisors first the incisors are the first formed teeth these are typically the first uh, adult teeth incisors are the teeth used for biting and to cut the food we have eight incisors we have eight incisors four in each jaw upper jaw and lower jaw next uh, canines the canines are the sharp uh, teeth used for tearing food we have four canines in total okay two in each jaw four canines next uh, premolars premolars are used for crushing the food we have eight premolars in each jaw okay next uh, molars molars are our largest teeth their function is similar to the premolars to grind and crush the food we have 12 molars okay total 20 28 32 total 32 teeth are present okay so these teeth are arranged systematically 16 in each uh, tooth so in each jaw okay the dental formula is 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 so each half jaw 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 so each half jaw consist of uh, two incisors one canine so this is half jaw this is the dental formula 2 1 2 3 two canines one um, two incisors one canine two premolars and uh, three molars okay each half jaw consisting of 2 1 2 3 two incisors one canine two premolars and three molars in the same manner another half jaw also same so a total of uh, the 16 teeth are present in each jaw upper jaw and the lower jaw what is the function of incisors to cut the food materials if an apple is given to you which tooth you use first you cut the apple with the incisors 
then you use the premolars molars for chewing so if you are a non vegetarian you are eating um, chicken or meat you will use which teeth uh, canines to tear the flesh then premolars and molars is for grinding and chewing the food so children you have to use your teeth properly in chewing the food if you chew the food properly then the digestion process is very easy okay take a time in uh, taking the breakfast or lunch or supper chew the food before you swallow automatically your digestion process is simple okay you are reducing the burden on the digestive system if you use your teeth properly so if you chew the food properly not only it uh, uh, helps in the digestion it also gives strength to the your teeth the, your life span of teeth will increase if you use it properly okay next okay take care of your uh, teeth thank you children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates